Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to RimWorld. Just defeated a mech hive. Just researched our crypto sleep caskets for the ship. So now we should be well and truly on our way. Well, once these actually get built. The main thing we're missing right now are advanced components. We only have 10. We need three each. We're making 12. That'd be 36. We need 36 components. No small, and there's 36 advanced components. If it was just regular components, that'd be easy. Advanced components is where it's at. So here, we do have a bill for this. Okay, advanced components. Um, this requires a lot of steel and plasteel and gold, and of course a component. Crafting skill eight worries me a little bit. Um, let's see who can actually do that. Our crafter, our main crafter is gonna be Sylvia here at 15. And of course, Pondu can do it at 12. Awesome cannot do it. Nope. 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 Because okay, we got two people who can potentially do it. Volcanic Winter. Okay, that's troublesome for sure. Pass in a few weeks or might last, you know, until the world blows up. Okay, that's troublesome. Um, we will be able to kill animals for a while. We, of course, have the nutrient based dispenser. We're mostly in a good spot. We might need to light this up with a solar lamp. Now, last time we did this, this did, uh, this drained our power immensely. Why is there a component just sitting out here, guys? Um, weird. So what we need to do is get more power generation. Um, let's see. Let's go to what's this solar to actually take here? The furniture, sun lamps. What I mean, forty steel. It's not just that. How much power does it require? 2,900 watts. That's crazy. Okay. By comparison, this generates 1,200 watts. So we need two of these just to run the solar lamp. Or oh, sorry, no, 1,100 watts. We need more than two of these. <laughs> Holy fuck. This generates 3,600. Possible. I mean, this is variable. This could be 2,000. It could be... 1,000, it could be one. I mean, depends on how much wind is going at the time. Fortunately, we're in a fairly windy area, so it might be all right. Put a wind generator like right here, that could help. We do have batteries. They are gonna drain really fast, but maybe that's worth it. Let me get a, maybe a wind turbine here. Means we need to put this into a clear, clear area, but that's okay, we can do that. Right here is fine. Okay, so this needs to be done. Let me keep clear. And basically this whole area right here. Right. Oh, it needs to actually be... Okay, I didn't really notice it needs to be actually wider than that. Okay, so that and that. Alright, so that'll be kept clear, and then I'll make sure that's there. I could probably put down some... Uh, the same thing I do here, you know, put down the... The dump zone, but I don't really need to do that yet. And of course, power production is going to require actually, you know, be connected to the grid. So there you go. And we actually need to put down the solar panel or the the sun lamp, I guess. Going to require components, right? Yeah, just regular components. So we're fine. We have more than enough steel right now. We're good. That little bit of the corn. We can get through life with corn. Won't be pretty, but we can do it. This will still grow. It'll just be very, very slow. Whereas this should be at speed. So if we wanted to, we could replace this with rice. Make sure we're always going to have food. Right now, we're okay. I'm not terribly worried yet. And again, it could be the volcanic winter only lasts, you know, three days. Or it could last the rest of our existence. We have 1.8 years until we need off this rock. I'm hoping at the one year mark to be able to turn this on. And we can just get out. Ideally, that's the way it's going to happen. I have no idea. Um, could be the animals starved to death, though. I don't know how the hay is going to happen. 
Like, we're already pretty short on hay right now. Yeah, it's pretty risky. Robot trader. Build while constructing a crypto sleep casket. That does suck. Because everyone is on crafting duty right now. Or construction duty, rather. Because it's important that everyone can do how to construct. But I guess for the ship, I want to make sure that's not true. Like, Starblazer probably shouldn't be constructing. Only people who actually have skill in it should be constructing. That's probably just safer. <laughs> so we're not wasting too many materials. Robot Trader. I guess we could do that, sure. So, talk to this guy. Awesome. They don't want the best social. Hey, they don't have any advanced components. That sucks. Okay, they do have steel. They have plasteel. I don't really need either of that right now. We can sell them a bunch of sculptures. Pondu always appreciates that when her work gets, you know, appreciated. I think that's basically it, though. We could buy more components because we know we're going to need... To make advanced components, take steel and plasteel as well as, as components. Can we just go ahead and just buy these anyway? At this point, we know we need them. So sure, why the hell not? Buy the chem fuel, too. Yeah, that should be fine. We do need some gold. We don't need this much gold. Give you, say, 200 gold. Okay. That'll be good fine for us. Rare thrombos are coming in. I mean, they can go ahead and do that. I don't care. The trade good part, like, we actually, like, kill them and get stuff would be nice, but... I don't know. Wildlife-wise, make sure we kill off. Let's get some buffalo meat. We need some meat, guys. We need food. I don't know why I keep just doing that. There we go. Um, only things at two percent. We can at all avoid it. That'd be great. Yeah, two percent, but or zero. Really feel like rat meat or rabbit meat. We can do that too. There you go. Powdered apparel still on. Okay, there we go. No, they just fixed it. Great. Well, at the very least, we're going to have meat. I don't know if we're ever going to have vegetables again. We'll have meat. Why are you not turning? Well, neither one of them are turning. That is the problem, right? Yeah, the solar panel is not going to work either because, you know, volcanic winter. Really, these might be our best bet of the watermill generators. The problem is they have a big area around them that just doesn't work. So if I, like, do another one here. Yeah, see that big blue area? I can't put another one that interferes with that same blue area. Do it here. Yeah, there. There. That'll work. That'll give me more power. So, uh, so build this up. I'm going to cross this. Uh, we have to cross at the shallow point, right? I want to do it, like, down here. And the waterproof circuits over this way. Okay, and then regular power circuit. Cross, and that should work. I probably don't need to go here, right? So that should connect the rest of the grid. You're set up to the grid. You're turning great. Sure, why not just go ahead and build that? That'll help. I mean, all this should help. More batteries might help, too. Um, get me another battery in here. Uh, there. Now, of course, because batteries discharge explosively sometimes... Maybe this would be a problem. I think we're going to have to kill all the alpacas. I hate it. We just don't have enough hay. Is there's their pasture zone include the hay zone? If it does, that might solve the problem. It does not. We can make it do so. A flow revenge. Where's this at? Okay. 
Ricky is going to be in trouble if you can't open fire on this guy. So I say you recruit instead. And book it defensive positions. And what that means is the turret should take him out for you. Looks like he's going pretty slow, so it should be alright. I mean, hopefully Freaky hit him in the leg or something. There we go. Just run for it, buddy. Run for it. They'll chase you. That'll do. That'll do. Alright, great. I finished him off, and then we're good to go. Did use up a shell, but that's okay. Yeah, so meat-wise, we're gonna be fine. Vegetable-wise, we might be boned. Yo, the battery's charging right now. Okay, great. So, I'm gonna do it. It's on lap time. Let's go. Uh, I don't know if that actually... Hold up. Did I do that wrong? I did that wrong. Sun lamp right there. That's where I want it. Okay. Okay, so they'll slip that up. That should hopefully be hooked up to the grid. I think we saw the wire going there, so that should be all right. Sun lamp will only happen during the day, too, but we drained the power incredibly last time. We'll see how this goes now that we have two more things generating. Well, one more thing generating power. Two more once this is done. All the pieces left just needs people to actually, you know, assemble it. Looks like the grid is assembled though, right? Uh, power. Yeah, looks like it'll be fine once it's set up. Alright. A lot of power generation over here. Like, if we get an infestation they decide to go after our power generation, we're boned. Hasn't happened yet, but I guess it could. Why is this here? Chop that down. Walking away to that. There we go. Thank you, Pondu. Great, another water mill generator. Turns out I didn't need to extend the power out that far. So wasted steel there, but only a little bit. It's fine. And somehow, we are actually managed to keep pace here. The batteries are not discharging. I mean, we're lucky right now because we have a lot of wind. That's probably what it is. Okay. We'll actually have, like, a regular crop here, it looks like. Uh, color me surprised, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, so the animals will eat the grass directly from the field, which, you know, not ideal, but right now we're kind of in a need-or-die situation. It's either that or we just kill the animals, like, right now. I'd rather not. Though, to be fair, the animals aren't coming with us, so they're kind of dead anyway. <laughs> Like, we're not going to put him inside a Crypto Sleep Casket. Not unless we get a huge amount of losses. Which I do not anticipate. I don't think that's going to happen to us. What if it matters if this isn't lit up at all? I mean, it's open to the air. But I wonder if it matters if this isn't lit up at all. If it matters for, like, their construction ability. Hopefully not. They're down to simple meals now, but they're only doing that I think because it's in the queue and they've already finished all the other ones, right? Yeah. Ain't no longer inspired. That's fine. Okay, if I had a desire... Well, we need advanced components. Hopefully this is... Yeah, okay, there we go. They're making advanced components. Great. Don't need to worry about that. It does take a while. A lot of work to make an advanced component. As long as they don't do anything else, we should be alright. At the very least, we can get four members of the colony off, apparently. It's something. I'd rather get all 12 if we possibly can, though. I mean, I would... I would count that as, like, a partial success. I wouldn't, I wouldn't count that as a complete success. I'd be sad if we only could take four people off the planet. But if worse came to worse... We couldn't make any more advanced components right now. We couldn't even trade for them. It'd be okay. Wouldn't be great, but it'd be okay. Yeah, this this could generate power here. Um, the problem is that we would have to... We have to basically refactor our entire kill box. 
Um, we could do that. We could. We could, like, build it over here instead. Um, actually, a little tempting right now. If the, once this Ambrosia goes away, maybe we do that. Maybe we just refactor our kill box to be over here. And then this can generate power for us. Especially if Volcanic Winter is going to last for a while. Which is possible. Surprisingly, the batteries are still topping off. I mean, they're they're fighting right now. I can see them. You zoom in here. This is wiggling a little bit. It bounces down and bounces back up again. Because this is generating... This is eating up so much power right now. Wow, they eat the hay grass like crazy. Okay, the animals may starve. We kill the alpaca. We might have enough hay to let the mega sloth and the elk live. Maybe. Century mechanites. That sucks. Oh man, four of us. Oh, that really sucks. Especially Jazz, who's working on research, though so not critical research. You go get tended to, guys. Glad to be by to help you guys out when Susie wakes up. Turn apparel on his pies. That's all that'll happen. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we killed the alpacas. I hate it, but I think right now we're in a, in a spot, so. We're gonna go ahead and kill the alpacas, and hopefully the hay grass grows quickly. I don't know, volcanic winter means it's probably not likely. Sorry, guys. Appreciate your work here, but we just can't. Can't. How long does the elk need to stay with us? The elk needs to stay with us for okay two days. That's not that's not horrible. We can totally last two days. He said, just as these guys came in. All right, so what do we got? Okay, they're not drop pods. Okay, that's good. There are three separate groups, unfortunately, and a lot of steel apparently. All right, so they're going to prepare for a while and then attack. So let's make sure the robots don't go out in the world. Keep them at home. Time to keep them inside, but that might be a little crazy. Okay, so then I think all the people inside also keep you guys at home. Okay, and so these are going to prep for a while. Hopefully on the same spot, or am I not going to be that lucky? Okay, they're setting up over there. Yeah, okay, they're setting up in three separate areas. Shouldn't matter, though. Our kill box should be able to take these guys out. Another fucking raid. Are you shitting me right now? And they're drop potting in. Fuck. Okay, so we have one intruder. Yeah, everyone else is outside. But they're attacking immediately. Okay, well, we only have the one intruder. That's not bad. All right, Pondu, go over and deal a crippling blow to this guy, will you? Um, and Starblazer. Come out here and support her. Uh, the nearest door is over here, so come over this way. Everyone else? Yeah, everyone else defensive positions. Uh, so that's you guys. That's you and you and you and you and you and you don't forget you and of course you all right here we go oh that's right we do have a turret up here i totally forgot about that not a very good turret we do have it okay so pondu you got this guy you ever use hammer you're immune to bullets boop good job all right go defense positions go This guy's take right. This used to be full of barricades. We did blow those up quite a bit, didn't we? All right, Pondu, you come in, buddy. Go take this guy out. As soon as you get over here. Um, that's some bad timing there, robot. That's some bad timing. Uh, go stay inside right now. Pondu's gonna come out and deal with this. Oh, and the other guys are bringing their assault now. Boop. 
Oh, wow. It even took out part of the wall. That's amazing. All right, Pondu, go around the corner here. We have more invaders. I want to make sure we took care of everybody here. Okay, so the outlaws. That dude's dead. How are they even shooting at right now? They're shooting at the other invaders. <laughs> okay, apparently they don't like each other. That's fine by me. There we go. Alright, so they just beat them up. Yeah, alright, so we just have people who don't like each other. That's fine. I want to go ahead and kill this guy. Okay, that works too. On to take care of this guy here. Or this guy here is fine. This guy here. Pondu is a bit hurt. Yeah, go retreat, Pondu. Get out of here. Everyone else is going to retreat too. Pondu is hurt a bit. Yeah, I could bleed to death in eight hours. That, that's a problem. All right, everyone else. Time to go home. Yeah, get Pondu to a hospital. She's going to need it. Blythe will come by and patch you guys up. Okay, it's great these guys fought each other, though. That was great. So, are we actually done? Hold up. I didn't I didn't select that properly. We could be done. I don't see anybody else out here. There's a fire. I'm gonna burn away the uh, the power cable over here, but that's okay. We don't really need it. Yeah, it looks like we're okay. I don't see any names in red. I think we're all right. Okay, Zen Robots, you are now unrestricted again. And same with everybody here. You are now unrestricted. It's safe. Well, more or less. Safe as it ever is. Yeah, Pondu's going to be taking the brunt of these hits, unfortunately, until we get her better armor. Well, that's hopefully what the research is for. Go ahead and just make some meals, guys. We're good. Uh, we might as well go ahead and get these weapons. Like, we have some medicine come in here. Sniper rifle there, which we're probably never going to use. You died as well. You had an Iqua. You guys died. You had a sniper rifle. But they love their sniper rifles, don't they? Suppose we can get the bodies. Just cremate them. Yeah, the rolling bots will come by and do that pretty soon. These guys died. Fire raging, but only a little bit. that's set up. Uh, the boomalope probably exploded. That's probably what happened. Come over here and burn those bodies, guys. Get this steel. Always good to have more steel. Make sure we're not missing anybody else here. But the guy here who died, get his bio-coded sniper rifle. Well, at least we can sell it. So there's the turret that helped defend. Frenzy on Jazz. I don't know if that actually helps us at all. I think that helps for research. I somehow doubt it. Okay, the rain's gonna help put out the fires. That's great. Okay, I think that's it. The guy here, we don't care about Dead Raccoon. Okay. And of course, some random electricity. Alright. On to order to get healed. Now she's not quite healed yet. But at least she's patched up. Is it event? All right, that sucks, but... Oh, right. This isn't roofed. I forgot this isn't roofed. Build the roof. Because we unroofed it, remember when we were... Uh, when the volcanic winter last time went away? Or the toxic fallout, I think it was. So we need to patch this up, guys. Totally forgot. This needs to be roofed up. Thank you. There we go. All right. Painful reminder, but nevertheless necessary. Okay, so great. You guys will do that. I mean, food-wise, we're okay. The harvests are still happening. Volcanic winter will does hurt the growth rate, but it does 
Those are still all right. Got cloth for days. There are very few places to put it, unfortunately. That's because we have so much steel, it's crowding out everything else. Yeah, that's probably what it is. All right. I can make another couple of pallets. We'll probably need to extend out the... Uh, to extend out the storage area. Um, I can extend it downward, I guess. Just need to build a little bit more. We can do that. Fire, I don't care. It'll be handled. Okay, so let's build our brick walls. Um, right in here. And of course our brick door. Right there. I'll go ahead and do that, and then we can knock away all these walls. And that'll, that'll extend our storage area, not by a lot, but hopefully by enough. Elk training. Oh, still? Alright. How's the elk doing, by the way? One condition needs tending. Someone will be by to it. Yeah, there we go. Goliath was there. And we're like, what, two days away from this quest being over? Six hours, all right. Would have been really sad to fail it in six hours. Okay, great, that's done. So go ahead and deconstruct this stuff. And that means that we will be out of range. Well, we'll see how well this goes. Oh, yeah, it's going to be out of range of these. Okay. So one thing we put outside of this, we can't trade. We don't really have a choice about what that's going to be. It's unfortunate, but I think it's just something we just have to accept. Okay, so let me go ahead and get some pallets here. Um, yeah, just get pallets here as well. Okay, and then we want to grab the pallet information here, make sure that's correct. No mortar shells. Copy these settings. As soon as they're all built, we can just automatically select them. They shouldn't automatically select every pallet in this area. As soon as they're all built, shouldn't take too terribly long. Might want to do two more shelves as well. We have room over here. We can do that. Actually, we can do four shelves. Eventually. We actually out of wood? Holy shit, we're out of wood. We are out of wood. It's alright, that's uh, something the manager will take care of later. Oh, we got a cargo pod. Uh, Erica will be got in three days, except we can put her in there, like, right now. I just tell her to be grabbed. Uh, Goliath, can you put her... Yeah, carry Erica to shuttle. Then it'll just leave, and then we just get the reward right straight away. Argopods all the way down here. They drop some components. Not a lot, but still, not bad. Okay, it's fine. Hey, okay, that's fine. The shuttle didn't leave. Shuttle didn't leave. There we go. That's what we need to do. All right, quest completed. Pods arrived. We got the masterwork rifle, or the masterwork, whatever that was, and some jade. Okay, let me go to just. Oh. Here we go. Base settings. There we go. Done. That'll be set up. Uh, as soon as we get more wood, which will happen as soon as the manager actually realizes that happened. Great, and then we can move the cloth in. It'll be great. Yeah, they're already starting to reorganize stuff as is. Great. Royal Tribute Collector. Uh, we don't have any slaves for you today. We give you some gold, but really I don't care. Like, do you realize your empire is about to be dead in 1.7 years? I mean, I guess that's why they call themselves the Refugee Empire. Our creativity, whatever. Masterwork, okay. I mean, great pants, I guess, is also good. 
Caravan from Alera. Bulk Goods Trader. That could be good for us. They might not have advanced components, but they'll probably have stuff to help. Yeah, the advanced components are just going to be slow. Like, we'd only make them one at a time, unfortunately. There we go. They're building stuff again. So that means these probably don't have any settings at all. So this here, copy these settings, and paste. There we go. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and do shelves. I'm going to double shell. Right in here. There we go. Oh, and this isn't carpeted at all. Right. Right, 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 right. Okay, so give me carpeting. Uh, just plain dark carpeting, I think is fine. Light on the rice plants. God damn it. You know, just give me all the carpet. Okay, whatever. Okay. Well, the rice plants are fortunately segregated from everything else, so we just need to just cut those out. It is unfortunate, but That'll be cut eventually. But it's not going to affect any of our other stuff. Like the cotton... Oh, shit! No! The whole reason why I segregated these is so the blight wouldn't spread. And apparently it didn't work. God damn it. This blight is spreading. Shit! I thought for sure that would work. God damn it. Alright. Um, awesome. Go talk to this guy. Before he runs away. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's that. Sorry, that's the wrong dude. Um, that's the Royal Tribute Collector. I don't care about him. I wanted this guy. Yeah, the Bulk Good Trader. Okay. Well, shit. So. Oh, he does have a. No, we don't have a bathroom. Not. Okay, sorry. See, on the list excited me, but that's not the guy we want. Okay, we'll give him all the non gloss stuff. There we go. Now, right now we have enough steel. I think we're fine. Uh, steel crown, don't really want. Give me some sculptures. Okay, with that. You have a steel clothing rack. I think we're okay. We have enough clothing racks. We're all right. You have like a shit ton of meat. Not a terrible idea. Um, you have some Ibex. No, you have some elephant meat. We have Ibex. Rhinoceros and Thrumbo. I mean, there's Thrumbos right here. We could probably murder them for the meat ourselves if we wanted to. Uh, really? The elephant meat's probably... No, actually, the rhinoceros meat, 206. Probably our best deal. Oh, they don't have a lot of money. I'm trying to get 5,000 from them. That's not going to work. Okay, never mind then. You don't get these. Uh, you don't get these here. Those are ours. Um, I guess you don't want these then. How much for the bulk trader? The bulk trader is trying to get a profit. There we go. 634, that'll do. We traded with you, that's something. But the rice plants, god damn it. I really thought... That separating them out would keep the blight from spreading, but it doesn't look like that's actually a thing. Yeah, the blight's spreading out further than I like. Okay, well, shit. Let's designate. Okay, finally, just cut the fucking plants out. I don't care. Cut them. Cut them. Cut them. The problem is right now we're we're uh, also sewing, and that's a problem right now. Do not sew. Just that guy. Just do not sew. Because right now we're, we're just replacing new plants, and that's just being blighted again. Who is on plant? All Everyone's on plant cutting duty. Every well, I guess not Jazz. She, she shouldn't be. But everyone else is. I guess there's blight there. Okay, good. I don't know why these aren't marked for cutting, but they're not. There you go. Do that, too. There. Okay, now we can sew. 
Now the blood's taken care of. Now we're all right. Okay, good. Could have been worse. Um, where are you? Uh, did we buy a pet? <laughs> Exotic pet of Pieces Partisans. That's us. Why do we have a yak? Did I? No, the yak's joint. Okay. I just missed it on the far side here, so I was too busy with the blight. The yak's joint. Okay. Whatever. Everyone approach, have a relationship. That's fine. Whatever. Okay, so kill the axe. We don't need the axe. We do need the meat, though. Probably don't kill them in the... Okay, kill them in the kitchen. That's fine. There. And yeah, dice them up. We're good to go. Alright, great. Oh, these traders down here we haven't talked to at all. Hold on. Uh, you. Did we talk to you guys? I don't think we did. I'll swim be by in a minute. There we go. Okay, so you got... Yeah, okay, you're totally different. Uh, so we have some agave fruit we can give you, I guess. Um, so you don't have too much money either. You want anything you have? I mean, the sh low shield pack is like a, a single deployable. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, really, there's not much here we want. We could buy some alpacas back from you. There's still volcanic winter going on. We don't know how long that's going to last. But sadly, we can't really afford it. I will take your components. Because I'll always take components. We're going to need them to make advanced components. So I think it's just how it goes. Uh, you don't have any advanced components for sale. You do have steel. But we have 2200 right now. We don't really need the steel. It's just the advanced components we need. You do not have. So what? I'll sell you sculptures and I'll sell you the cloth or the the leather rather the wool and stuff this is much as you can afford and that's apparently it all right next stop and bye guys one two three well just duplicate here seven okay so we can get seven people off the colony that's decent you know once we boot this up I'm worried about how this is gonna work. Cause like the drop pods seem to be, when drop pods come in, we get maybe like one or two like in this area. We did get one over here one time. Maybe we get like a turret or two like around here. Maybe. Oh, this should count as inside by the way. Make sure that's done. There you go. And power should already be running through here, right? Yeah. Okay, so then I can get wall lights facing out. I think that's what this is doing right now. That is facing inward. There we go. Make two wall lights right there, just so we get this lit up a little bit better. Lasted nine days so far. Yeah, it's a problem. It's 10 degrees outside. Only 13 in here. Okay, where's our heaters at? We got a heater inside here, inside the meditation room. We probably need a heater in here. Pay for our corn crop to die, basically. So give me a heater right there. Oh, there's no vent. There's no ventilation between these two rooms. That's why this is colder. All right, this will warm up now. Everywhere else is... I mean, 17 degrees is cold. Our recruitment um, hasn't come up in a while. Like, most of the raids have just straight up died. Or run away, I guess. Right, you feeling all right? I mean, it's a little cold out there. An old gunshot wound in your neck. There's not much we can do about that. Can't replace your head. Or your neck for that matter. We have to decapitate you and then reattach your your head? That seems really complicated. That's something I would want to do. But that is done. So with this done, I said we were gonna move our kill box. 
how best to do that. It's funny this is a rec room. <laughs> Why is this a rec room? It's a power generation room. Why is this labeled rec room? That's strange. Okay, so how are we going to do this? If I were to set this up as a... Acted machinery. Okay, I mean, that hurt our power generation a little bit, but sure. This is the components, basically, which is good. Always use more components. Well, we're going to be on a rush here to make these advanced components. How are we going to do this? Because this is just taking too long. How many do we have here? We have zero, 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 zero. But we are making, we did make another one, we made eight. It's proceeding a pace, it's getting there. The only way to speed this up would be make another fabrication bench. And then someone else could work alongside her, basically. Maybe not a horrible idea. The fabrication bench does eat a lot of power. We've got a lot of power generation right now, it might be all right. Yeah, it might be all right. All right, fuck it. We we need this. Give me another fabrication bench. Whatever the hell that is. There it is. All right, someone be by and make that. It'll speed things along a little bit. It'll double our production capacity, assuming, of course, we have another person worthy of doing the crafting. How are we going to move this kill box? We can move it down. So, like, we'd have our people, like, up here and move this down. Like, this could be our new wall. It means moving, of course, these over on this side. But that's okay. Um, yeah. Then we just open up openings, like, right here, right? That could work. Okay. First things first. Let's, um, put a brick wall right here. So I can clear away these. Should be working on that pretty quick. Let's get a barricade. Also made of bricks. We have a ton of brick right here. Put it right there. So they can't use this as a sniper position. Okay, I think you're rid of these. And then we'll start moving these turrets over. So the main problem right now is that we don't want we don't want them popping out over here next to where we're going to be firing from. We want them over this side. So I need to make an opening here. Um, so what we're going to do is build in a new structure here. Brick wall. And we're going to make them come this way. We're going to open up right here, and that's going to be where this is going to go now. It's going to go over, like, around here. Alright, so just uh, go ahead and set up, guys. Fortunately, they work pretty fast once the trees are out of the way. Oh, come on. Come on, guys. You're going to leave the job, like, nine-tenths done. Wish you could build that fast. Well, to be fair, we're on speed three. So it's taken him basically most of the day to make this wall. All right, let's go ahead and deconstruct this. I want to make this wall. Okay, so we need to deconstruct this as well. Get the door out of there. Put the door probably like around here. Right there. Where's your speed three button? I mean, that's between you and your guy. All right. If uh, if your deity did not see fit to give you a speed three button, there might be a reason for that. All right, so the real question is how far we need to go here. Um, my guess is we need to go all the way over. So we need to just put in ten turrets along the top here, um, and then we disassemble this. Yeah, it should be all right. And I'll pop out here. That should be within, well within range of the turrets. Okay, so we should assume these are going to be every other. So let's move 
we have power across this whole thing? We should. Like, there should be power coming from here. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. So you're going to be reinstalled right over here. You're going to be reinstalled every other. Could be I've made too many turrets, which means you might need to put some off of the side. That could work. They'll probably go right for him is the trouble. We'll see. Oh, right. Not every other. Maybe it's okay to do every other. I'm just worried, like, how that's going to work for putting people behind walls. For defensive purposes. Like, if I move you, like, over one, and then I move you over here. Yeah, it's not every other, it's every two, so this one's in the wrong place then. Move you over here. Okay, and then you go right there. To you. A lot of stuff happening. Spark creativity, work frenzy, and new Abrosia sprout. It's very far away. I'm not wild about this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Abrosia is just too good not to use. So, growing zone right in here. And do not sew. All right. Another masterwork. Pondu has created yet another sculpture. Good job. Okay, we've got three more turrets to place. We have room. We have room. Install there. Reinstall there. And the last one, reinstall there. Okay, so this is going to be our new wall area. We just wide enough, I believe, to put in a new power generator here. Let's make sure. Geothermal generator right here. I need to move the wall. <laughs> the wall's too far up. God damn it. God damn freaking... Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so let's... Deconstruct all this nonsense. We don't need this. We gotta move the walls down a step. Um, basically, we can't move walls, right? What you have to do is you have to deconstruct and reconstruct. Or, really, what we do is the opposite. Is we construct first... And then, once this is down a step, we move everything else over. It's kind of weird. It's weird. All right. Well, they'll do that. Again, they do it pretty fast. What is this? A count of the refugee empires traveling near Twitch Village. Been followed by pirates. And once you're helped, using signals draw them towards you. If you do, mechanoids will activate a site nearby to harass you. They'll put smoke over the whole region. And you need to destroy it. Um, fuck you? I don't think so. No. No. Go away. I'm busy. Alright, so deconstruct all this, guys. All of this needs to go away. Probably a faster way to do this, but it doesn't matter because we're on speed one here. Okay. And then build me a door here. And we're going to put a new wall right here. We don't make sure the walls are in place in case we get raided like midway. I hate for us to be defenseless. I guess you can go and build the door now, sure. I mean, I was meaning to do this in order, but whatever. But yeah, come by and pick up the bricks, guys. We need these bricks put away. I mean, we need to use them pretty soon, so don't move them too far. It's a weird... I don't know. You can put a sideways door there. That's super odd. That's, um... Looks very complicated. Okay, so... Brick wall. Right here. All the way across, too. Okay, as soon as they build that, then we can disassemble all of this. And then we can put in our brand new power generator. Okay, but what I didn't check, what I should check, is to make sure... We center it here. Yeah, okay. 
So put our walls right where the stones are right now. That should be okay. So get rid of that zone. Get rid of this zone. This is going to get reinstalled over here to kind of tempt them into trying to go there for cover. It's bad cover. It's like 25%. When they go here for cover, they'll get shot very, very easily. Okay, speed three, guys. The door's still behaving very strangely, but that's just how it goes. There we go. All right, there. Great. Gonna go build that. Oh, we have to knock down the tree, guys. What are you doing? The har the hauling bot is knocking down the tree. I didn't even know that was possible. There we go. All right. Great. That's done. The deconstruct all of this right here. And this here. That might deconstruct the power too. I don't know. I'm not sure. This is all still part of the keep clear zone, right? Yeah, keep clear still this entire area. Let's make sure this extends out to here just to make sure. Got a roof collapse. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. There is a roof right there. Well, not anymore. Not anymore. Move the roof area. Yeah, forgot about the roof. Forgot I did that for safety and all that good stuff, but okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. We have a trade ship by. Combat supplier. Nobody died. Yeah, nobody got hurt. We have helmets on. We're okay. Uh, Austin, you want to go talk to this combat supplier? And then I think that'll do it for this episode. Oh, every time they fool me here, they don't want advanced They want advanced components from us. We can't afford any advanced components from them. Uh, nope, don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want, uh, the wooden warhammer is a cool idea, but no. The short bows. These guys have a lot of money, so I'm okay just taking all of their money, I guess. And really, unless it's an LMG, I don't want it. But the sniper rifles are, are... They just take too long to spin up, is all. Oh, that's a cool idea. But the triple rocket launcher sounds cool, but it damages a lot of things. LMG, that we definitely want. The oral peach we want. You have a flak jacket? You know what? I'll take another flak jacket. Sure. Oh! They have marine helmet and cataphrac armor. Let's get the cataphrac. That was really good for Pondu. Let's keep it. What the hell? The marine helmet's also... It looks kind of cool. And you have another shield belt. I can't really... Yeah, I can't really justify it. The cataphrac armor is already going to break me. We're trying to limit the amount of breakage that happens, really. Uh, give me you some ambrosia. We have a lot of ambrosia. Take 200 ambrosia. There you go. Now we get a profit again. Okay, we're good. The cataphrac armor is great. That means that we can go back to assigning and say for melee, hey, use the cataphrac armor instead of a flak jacket. And that's what Pondu will do when she wakes up. All right, so our kill box is going to move. We're going to get more power generation. We're going to need to break up this here. Um, yeah, probably best to go ahead and set this up on this side. Structure, brick wall. Make sure we have something behind us. All the way over here. And we'll come in through that door. And we set this up. We instead of our power generation, which will be great. We get more power, and then if the volcanic winter lasts for a while, we can set up another sun lamp. And won't have to worry about power. Won't that be nice? Okay, so like this, we can knock down, and then we have new defensive positions to set up. I will do that next time. So thanks for watching. This has been Room World.
on PC Universe, your PC Universe 2. And I'll see you guys next time.